everybody. Welcome to the KTLA News at 6. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Rebecca Hall. And for Mary Beth McDade, right now the Kings are skating in New Jersey, hoping to take a commanding two-game lead in the Stanley Cup Final. And they're doing pretty good, too. Let's go to <laughs> KTLA's Christina Pascucci. She's live in downtown. A bar fight overnight in Redondo Beach has left one man dead. And now police are hunting for two suspects in the case. KTLA's Jim Nass joins us live from Redondo Beach. With the very Let's talk about the weather a little bit. It's been hot the last couple of days, but that looks like it's going to change. I know, soon. a little cooler out tonight, Jim. Yeah, hot. Thank you. Ten people are dead tonight after a cargo plane missed the runway of an airport in Ghana and crashed in... A lot more ahead tonight. We could soon learn details about the Watergate scandal's long-held secret. Details coming up. Yeah, plus... Goodness, look at that man trying to bash the windows just to figure just out what somebody's the... Somebody's inside. Yeah, them. to save somebody. Yeah. We forget how lucky we are, even with that <laughs> cooling trend coming up. Huh? Yeah, but and I think it's going to start, what do you think, Jim, about Monday or Tuesday, something like that? Oh, she'll be missed. Yeah, she was absolutely. Great on that show. She was great. Mirror, mirror on the wall, which do you think is the fairest weekend movie of them all? Uh, I wonder. I wonder which. <laughs> Our Jessica Holmes has peered into the looking glass and she has one of this weekend's top box office contenders. Or just get a ton of popcorn when you get there, like Sit I do. Stuff yourself up. Pack your, uh, pack your candy in the <laughs> exactly purse. Exactly in the purse. Not that I do that. No, of course you don't. Uh, so imagine skipping school to see the president, and then he gives you an excused absence. The president. Right. How awesome is that? Well, it happened to one kid. His story is still ahead. And you. A beaming Queen Elizabeth, a keen rider and horse breeder, enjoyed a day at the races today, marking the start of her Diamond Jubilee, celebrating her 60 years on the British throne. He keeps that original and gives Ackerman a copy of it. I know. Really nice he would on the wall. totally rule in show and tell, <laughs> by the way. Rule. <laughs> there is still more news here at 6 o'clock, including the latest on that Simi Valley murder mystery. And a preview of next week's California primary elections and the demonstration voters need to see. Welcome back, everybody. The manhunt continues at this hour for suspects involved in a fatal bar fight in Redondo Beach. Police looking for two men responsible for starting a fight that left one bar employee dead. KTLA's Jim Nash joining us live now from the... Again tonight at 10 o'clock. Let's lighten things up a little bit and talk sports now, and in particular <laughs> hockey, because the Kings may be skating to the Stanley Cup final almost 3,000 miles away tonight. But the growing fan base right here... They're with them in spirit, I think. And so are you. Yes, I am. And so am I. <laughs> right now, Kings fans here in the Southland are attending a big Game 2 viewing party. Kings leading the Devils, by the way, 1-0 in the second period right now. KTLA's Christina Pascucci is... APD need your help tonight in solving a string of vandalism cases, though this is all out in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah, the crime is costing merchants thousands of dollars. KTLA's Olga Ospina takes a look. Simi Valley Police expanding their search for a killer beyond the city limits. Officers found the body of and sadly that's also how you find me is follow uh, uh, the trail. <laughs> the Cheetos wrappers. Gross. <laughs> All right. Well, it is cute. It is cuddly and in need of care. Yeah, we're right um, here though. You know, it really is the perfect time for the Kings to finish this. Come on back here to Los Angeles because we're in for a cooling uh, phase. Yeah, Monday so or Tuesday, Jimmy says, and we bit. could yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we could get a little drizzle. It was nice in Sun Valley today. The homeless there received special gifts to help them survive the scorching heat that we're going to have this summer. Yeah, nearly two. All right, that does it for us. Thanks for joining us, and we'll uh, see you a little bit later. Yeah, we'll be back here at 10 o'clock for continuous news updates, though. It's easy. Just log on to KTLA.com. See you later. All, All right, right, let's, we'll, like, Jim get established exactly. out there. Or, yeah, Jim get established. All right, thanks, Jim. All right, let's go to Jim Nash now. He is in... Glendora near that's now 10 straight road wins as the Kings seem to be on a collision course with history now this is a team that has never won the Stanley Cup now they're just two wins away from Unbelievable. the ball. Unbelievable who good. are the Jersey boys now the <laughs> Kings putting on quite a show once again tonight Steve Hartman here now to relive that thrilling finish. Our fingers Steve, crossed, Steve. Thank Thanks. you and I can't even imagine what Staples Center is going to oh. look and sound like on Monday night. That's yeah, going to be fun to be there KTLA's Christina Pascucci live downtown right now. All right switching gears just a bit a bar fight overnight in Redondo Beach results in the death of a club's bouncer and now police are hunting for two suspects in the case. The, the LAPD needs your help tonight to solve a whole string of vandalism cases. This is out in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah, the crime is costing merchants thousands of dollars. KTLA's Olga Ospina takes a look. Hopefully there's some surveillance video on that. Yeah, yeah maybe we can look at his face. All right. Sad news coming out of Wisteria Lane. Yeah. By now in the United States. Millionaires. The number of... Mi All right. Imagine skipping school to see the president and totally getting away with it. Yeah, and then imagine the president actually... 
Tomorrow is the MTV Music Awards show, and KTLA's Cher Calvin got a look at all the Hollywood swag up for grabs for the red carpet nominees. Puppy, too. Yes. Uh, Let's talk to Jim cute. about the weather. It's going to be socked <laughs> in along the coast. A little cool, too. Uh, we'll let you know if Ackerman buys into it all. <laughs> you know, we'll find out. Huh? Still ahead, it's fashion on the fly and on the cheap as well. But it is certainly great. Oh, Jack of all trades, Rebecca Hall. Weren't you just here? <laughs> Joins us what? in studio. News anchor, sports reporter, sports anchor, and of course, Kings aficionado. You Absolutely. have been with this team all season long. Can you believe this now? You know, I just got back from yeah, Jersey. And, today. you know, the feeling was simply this. They had to win tonight. All the Devils fans I talked to said they had to win tonight or the series was over. Right. Is it over? I think it's over, but I don't want to jinx them. But, you know, <laughs> honestly, Jeff Carter said that this was the biggest goal of his career. He's never had an overtime playoff goal before. So uh, the Angels are tweeting about it. CP3 is tweeting about it. Everyone's excited about this. But you know what? The Stanley Cup final, not the only big series for L.A. fans right now. The Halos have a golden opportunity to make up some ground in the West with the first place Rangers in town. After a miserable 6-14 and 14 start, they came into tonight's game just four and a half games behind the defending AL champs. And this route's almost there. When it comes to pitcher Christopher John Wilson, or C.J. Wilson, what you see is not even close to what you get. Baseball would appear to be his focus, and of course, during this season, it absolutely is. But but number 33 isn't your typical ball player. Pretty cool, right? Wilson subscribes to the PMA way of life. That stands for positive mental attitude. He also practices a straight edge lifestyle, which is a lifelong commitment to living drug and alcohol free. Uh, he has charities that he has started, Steve, this guy. He does it all, right? Sounds like you're a C.J. Wilson fan. <laughs> I'm just going to guess. All right, Rebecca, great stuff. All right, still ahead. We're going to head back.